Because okay, so it's Friday first, and we love talking about what we're watching and what we're streaming. Mm -hmm. And it turns out we've got a lot of Virgin River fans right here at Pix11, included myself. Yeah, and clearly it's not just us. The show has been all over the Netflix top 10 list for weeks. It's a big time drama about a small town life in Northern California in the town of Virgin River. And among the show's leads is Canadian actor Benjamin Hollingsworth. Hey, I want to help. But I can't if I don't know what's wrong. But if you don't want to tell me, that's okay. We can, uh, it's okay, we can just sit here. And we're so excited to be joined live this morning, especially the women here, by Benjamin Hollingsworth. We had to lower the air conditioning here to just cool them off a little bit, Benjamin. But welcome to New York Living. Great to see you this morning. Uh, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So people have really latched onto the show. Uh, what does it mean for you as a person, as an actor, to see this this success? It's wild. You know, everyone on the show, when we first signed up for it, we had no idea it was supposed to be this little show. Um, and then it just grew and grew and grew. And every season, it seems to be getting bigger. And there's more and more people stopping me on the street, uh, calling me Brady. And, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, no. Look at that it's, smile. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's a lot of fun. I can't lie. It's, it, it, it's, it's really great. I'm glad everyone's uh, enjoying the show. This guy looks friendly. The guy in the show that I see doesn't mm -hmm. smile so much. But right. <laughs> I'd approach you. I don't know about you. Yeah. But talk to us a little bit about yeah. the show. Yeah, I'm sorry. And, and the character itself, because he's very brooding. Do you consider him to be a good guy or a bad guy? It feels like he wants to do good, but he always ends up kind of making bad choices. You're absolutely right. I think he's the most misunderstood person in Virgin River. Like, he, he gets cast as the bad boy, and he is a bit of a rebel. Um, you know, he's got the bike, he's got the leather jacket. Um, but he he also, as we find out in season three, and definitely more in season four, he does have layers to him. And in the, in, like, you know, with his relationship with Bree, he falls in love, and you get to see some of these uh, softer sides uh, of, of Brady. As well as the steam. He doesn't lose <laughs> the steam. There's a lot of steamy <laughs> moments. This is fantastic. Okay, clearly no spoilers. Uh, mm. But at the, your show loves a good cliffhanger every season. So I wonder, when you get the script, do you skip all the way to the end and you're like, <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's really fun when you have a show like this. Because you, you become an audience member for the, when you're reading mm -hmm. the script for the first time. Because, you know, we're all invested in the show. And, you know, I finished, you know, uh, the first script of season four. And here I am, like, stabbed and bleeding out in mm -hmm. prison. Right. <laughs> you know, I... I know I'm supposed to be at work the next day, so I'm, I'm, I have an idea that I'm, I'm, I'm surviving. But, um, you know, it is. It's fun. You know, uh, we, we, there's a lot of cliffhangers in the show. I know all the, I know all the secrets about what's, what's coming up, which is fun. And, and uh, people on the street always try and get me to tell them, like, who shot Jack? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. that was the first thing I got asked maybe a million times last year. Was, who shot Jack? Did you shoot Jack? And, you know, of course, I mean, everyone who's seen the series knows that I didn't do it. Of course. <laughs> No, no great secret there, I guess. But what else can you tease us about now, season five, which is already going into production, correct? Give us a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we're, we're a month into shooting. Yeah, uh, we're a month into shooting. i got to be careful what I say here because mm -hmm. they have, like, a sniper rifle. I'm and sure. One of our producers is sure. really no good shot. And he'll, he'll just, I'll just. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I can say this. I can say this. It, it's bigger than any other season. Um, it's got even more cliffhangers. Brady gets himself into trouble again, but not the type that we're used to. Uh, it gets hot, really hot, and not necessarily the hotness that we're used to with Brady. And I gotta be cryptic like that, uh -huh. because otherwise the sniper will get me. Oh yeah, well don't worry, we have a sniper uh, of our own here on the New York Living set. Don't be shy now. One what? of your biggest fans, <laughs> our teammate Hi! Alex Lee, is here. I'm trying Maybe. to keep my cool Maybe. right now. My mm -hmm. America's and my favorite bad boy right there. Yeah. Well, the thing no, about the thing so about this much. guy, if you watch any of him on Facebook and his Twitter, he has three. He's a beautiful family. Three yeah. beautiful mm -hmm. children: oh, yeah. Hemingway, Gatsby, and Juniper, I believe. Was uh, the that is young correct. lady. You and also have a stalker. Yeah. Like, no, wow, big Craig. Okay. I'm going to tell you why Security. big Craig. No, no, no. <laughs> this dude married a lingerie designer. 
I'm telling you, that's a smart man right there. Look at you, you know. I'm not Kristen. Look I mean, I, I can't. Yeah. I just can't compete with this. This is too much. <laughs> this is. This I, you know, I, 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 I honestly pinch myself too. A lot of the times, I'm very blessed with the family I have, and 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 everyone talks about what your favorite role is. And honestly, for me, it's it's a no-brainer. Being a dad and being a husband, oh. you know, those things in life you can't really replace. And so. I, I'm able to be a bad boy on screen because right. I'm really a softie at home. And I'm sure your family sure. allows you the uh, the opportunities to do all those other things that you that you get to do um, when you're not at home. Yeah. But Ben, you know, we're, we were talking about earlier on the show shows that we love to binge watch. Mm -hmm. Your show is certainly one of them. Mm -hmm. But do you personally have a show, or maybe your family has a show that they love to binge watch? Yeah, I mean, gosh, Ozark is something that just yes. goes, I oh, like, yeah. you consume it so quickly. Um, there's so many out there. I mean, Game of Thrones was like that mm -hmm. for me. I feel like sometimes I let a series build up uh, so I can just binge it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. I can just get through like a big chunk of it. And, and so for everyone who hasn't watched Virgin River out there, there is now four seasons of you to like dig in mm -hmm. and get get, in get all the feels from. So yeah, I, I really like anyone. There's something about binging, right? Especially if it's really good. It's like food. You're like into yeah. the ice cream, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I hate all the ice cream. I should stop. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, obviously you were bl a busy blown man. up and a busy man with this binge-worthy show. But how about? What is next? Any other projects in the works that we? Yeah, you know, I have. Um, I've. Uh, yeah, I just finished um, doing a series called Joe Pickett. It's on Paramount Plus. It's completely opposite uh, from Brady. He's got a four-inch goatee, and he's oh. from Mississippi, <laughs> and he's got yellow teeth and like long <laughs> hair, and uh, he's very, very much uh, not who Brady is. And, uh, <laughs> Cool. And then I have uh, I had a Hallmark movie uh, just came out last week, and then another one's coming out tomorrow. So anyone who's got Hallmark, um, you know, uh, at uh, 8 p.m. on the Hallmark Channel tomorrow night, August 13th, that it, it yep. is, uh, check it out. It's a really really cool theme to this one. It's about body inclusivity and positivity. J.C. Elliott, who plays um, on Grey's Anatomy, for a medical drama mm -hmm. fan, yeah. she's the lead in it, and she plays as a designer who designs clothes for women who are the, like size 16 is, is, yeah. the, is the most common size for the American woman yeah. and there's just not that representation in fashion and, and even so in leading women on TV oh, and so this is kind of a departure point and ben, for Hallmark. We just, we, just, we just had JC on in the earlier hour. We should have right. we should have linked the two yeah. Zooms. Yeah, and she, oh said, she said she wishes you would just clean your act up. Yeah, really. Because, you know, it's so difficult <laughs> right. to work with you. Uh -huh. I mean, really true. Right. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> you know, I do have a bad reputation. <laughs> uh, JC and I really, really got along, and 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 the whole cast. We just it was such a great message, and we just felt a bit of an obligation to tell the story and elevate it as much as we could. So we, I can't say enough wonderful things about that woman. And we can't say enough wonderful things about you. Thank you so much Thanks, for joining. Benjamin. What a dynamic duo! Can't wait to yeah. watch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. Absolutely. Bye -bye. Have Good a great luck. weekend. Continue success. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Romance and style, I think, is the name of that. Virgin River streaming on Netflix right now. Ben Hollingsworth, thanks again for joining us. Mm -hmm. This was that was uh, you guys.